Okay, I'm out here in frost-proof Florida, and I'm about to set up this trap out. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. You know, this thing's about, I don't know, 15 feet high. So you can see that gigantic gash in the tree where they are. I guess I'll go ahead and bring my camera up there once I'm suited up just to get a good look inside that hole. And um, so yeah, that's going to be quite the gap to seal up and I'm trying to make my trap cone wider at the base too and mount it to, to where it seals up quite a bit of it. And then I'll work from there with, you know, towels or foam or whatever. All right. All right, so this one was a bit of a challenge setting it up because of the height. And um, the only place I could put my hive safely was down there on the side with a flat edge and a little bit lower. Because I tell you what, these hives are very heavy sometimes when you take them down. And I just don't want them, you know, I don't want it... 15 feet up in a tree, I'd rather have it, uh, I don't know, 11, 12, 13 at the highest. <laughs> I'm flying around my hive quite a bit right now, but this is early on in the game, and of course they're still going to be attracted to their area. This could be kind of a brutal trap out, but I went ahead and took it on. Whatever. Alright, we'll see how it pans out. Alright, you can see them fanning on the front of my hive, which is a really good sign. See that? So even though a, a ton of them are still attracted to their former entrance, you know, Hopefully they can't get back in, and I'm going to have to come check on it, of course, and hopefully that's not a big ordeal with them finding other ways back in. But uh, anyway, that right there is a good sign. Hopefully they'll all get the memo here pretty soon and give up trying to get back in the tree and move a few feet down. All right. 